speech recognition, uh, speech control works pretty good. Let me show you guys quickly. Uh, let me minimize these uh, down here below. I'll close that one. I'll turn this on. Open Internet Explorer. As you can see, it opened up Internet Explorer. Search for MSN.com. Cancel. Weather today. Insert. Search. As you can see, uh, how it works on here very nicely. Um, I gotta turn this off because it tries to pick up my my voice on there. But as you can see, it's, it, it does a good job. If you have it off, um, I mean not off, but if I'm not talking, you can see that you can open up applications. You're able to uh, do things here. Let me show you guys another little scroll down, scroll down. Show numbers. Show numbers. Twenty two. Okay. What I did that is when I when you say show numbers, it's like if you have a lot of items on the Internet Explorer or any page, it numbers it so you can tell it like on this one it had 22 so I told it 22 okay which was this uh, instead of clicking on it it's like saying like a click on this item so I went ahead and opened up this page so um, it works very nice um, it actually works very fluidly very nicely on the Windows 8 uh, and I guess most to do is you know having a nice good processor it's able to do this so you know that's another thing you guys can load up it does very well with uh, i've been trying it on my samsung uh samsung slate series 7 uh tablet uh that one is working i got windows um uh, 8 as well and i got uh, office 2010 installed and you, you can do a pretty good letter with it you can uh, dictate it by speech it does a fairly good job so it just you know if you want to interact by voice you're capable of doing it with windows 8 so I just thought I'd show you guys that as well. Let me see. We can try one more thing. Go back. Back. Open BoxNet. cancel as you can see when I said that it put boxnet in there so I hit cancel anytime you say cancel it deletes what you just said so that's that's pretty good um, you can also open applications and other things as well so just something that if you guys want to try out you can try it out uh, if not you know you don't have to enable this you can have this turned off so I just thought I'd show you guys as well Start people go back start messaging desktop desktop back cancel start calendar start Internet Explorer start store start So as you can see, you can control a lot of, you know, a lot of applications and items like this with Windows 8 with using the speech here. 
so I just I wanted to just, just you know something quickly to show you guys um, what you guys can do so you can also log in and as I like I showed you I said mail and you can actually um, put you know the username and password by voice also as well that might be a little tricky in the password because if you have some kind of tricky but you can also say spell out the letter so that's another good thing so it just might take you a little bit longer it's probably faster to type it out so I'll just uh, show you guys a quick look on this thanks for watching